Uh, Jeannie, welcome to my hangout. Uh, great to see you. Thank you very much. Great to see you. I mean, not great to see you, but good right. to see you as well. <laughs> you want to see me eventually. You just want to see me further down the line is how it tends to work. Yeah. Now, um, you know, every week you poor Uwas getting voted out of the game and every week you're sentenced to a conversation with me. And for that, I apologize. Uh, but we do have something in common. We both have wonderful partners named Lindsay. Oh, really? What S-E-Y or S-A-Y? S-E-Y, but it starts with an L-Y. What? There's like a good 40, 50 spellings for that name. Um, I think her mom, there were 50 of them, her mom just grabbed one out of the hat. Just turning uh, random vowels into Ys, all willy-nilly. Um, and I'm sure this is the content the, the Survivor fans are here for, so. Um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> in, case, in case everybody was wondering. Uh, all right, get on topic. CBS is going to be on us pretty soon if we don't uh, start talking about their show. Um, last night, uh, you found the Beware Advantage. Uh, you you spoke with Shan and Ricard decided to put it back. And then Shan, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm. mm-hmm. Yep. Shan has an idol. Yes. When you when you watch that back, um, I, was that the, the first you, you had known about her getting that idol? Uh, I mean, pretty much, yes. Yeah. That was That was the first time I'm like, oh my God, of course she took it. You know, like, so... I really, I mean, how gullible was I to think that that was the plan that they came up with and that they would stick to it? You know, like when we came up with that plan, you know what I was doing? Well, he, they were fake idling and all that. I was out there fishing to get fish <laughs> for us because I'm like, we need food. Let me go get food for us. It's like, oh, oh yeah. Isn't that the way? Um, but but when, you, when you watched it back last night, does that affect how you feel about Shan personally, knowing that, you know, she she cried when you're voted out, but she also didn't have a problem, you know, doing this with that idol. Of course, of course. Um, you you know, I I have to always tell myself this is a game, right? This is a game that people have to come in and play hard. And some of them, you know, we know we're gonna have to lie to each other eventually. I just didn't expect that I was gonna be lied to from the beginning. <laughs> you know, but 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 um, I I can't say that I harbor ill feelings towards anybody you know um they played hard and look i'm just gonna say it right now they played better than i did you know they uh, they i i had no chance i had no chance with the two of them mm -hmm. now she kind of uh, put it out there that she doesn't want to be a villain she wants to be an assassin and you know they both might make sneaky moves but you know an assassin seems to do it without any malice in their heart do you think uh, if you had to, to, to put Shan on either side, assassin or villain, where would you put her based on last night? I would put her on like, she is a, an assassin for villains. <laughs> 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 like, the, she's a gun for hire, not for like the good people, but for like the evil people, you know, like it's, um, I mean, look, she is playing a masterful game. Uh, every single one of us who was booted out wanted Shan as their number one. I mean, for her to be able to do that is amazing, you know? Um, uh, it's funny because Ricard, I have a lot of respect for Ricard because he's he's such a strategist. He could see like moves so many, like so many moves ahead that I can't even fathom. But Shan is the person who can close these deals. She's the closer, you know? Uh, Ricard couldn't pull off all of these plans that he has without Shan. So ultimately, Shan is playing the best game out of anybody. Now, R Ricard, we, you know, we only see 42 minutes out of, you know, a two or three day period. Every time we see Ricard address you, he's like, you voted for me and mah, 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 mah. Uh, maybe not in those exact words. Um, yeah. Was that accurate? Because it felt like he was kind of crappy to you until he needed you and then you kind of try to get on your good side. Was that, was that an accurate portrayal? I mean, I would say I do truly believe that after that first vote, that first tribal was crazy. After the first tribal, I do feel like he did forgive me for writing his name down. Um, but I do feel like deep down, there might have still been a grudge. Mm -hmm. And for me, though, I will be honest with you, like, I never felt like I could work with Ricard truly, because there was just something about him, like it, like most nobody trusted. Like going into Ua, like nobody really quite trusted him to work with him, except for Shan. 
-hmm. So um, uh, for me, it was never going to be Ricard. Um, uh, and I, but my gameplay is I don't really lie to you until I'm about to get you out. So I can't just lie to put people from the beginning, you know, just, it, that's just not me. Right. You need, you need to ease into your lies. You can't just like jump right. into the lies. I'm only going to lie you. if it's me or you, you know what sure. I mean? Now, if you had to put a percentage on how confident you were that you were going to stick around last night, what, what would you say it was? Well, it was, uh, I would say the percentage is more than 16.666% because <laughs> if that's shot in the dark, I'm sorry. Like at first six, I was like, oh, this is a great idea. Six with the line on top of it or otherwise the mathematicians will, will freak out. Yeah, yeah. well, whatever. The, the percentage of that is not higher than the, my, the percentage of me thinking that Shan was going to vote with me because, you know, I, I, I say this, but like there were moments in the game that weren't showed that like truly felt completely real, completely emotional. Like there was affection between me and Shan that I didn't see her have with other people, you know? So I, that's why I thought, oh, ultimately she's going to want to work with me, you know, because I'm, I can be trusted, you know, um, going into a merge with so few people, just two people like into a merge, you want to take the person you are a hundred percent trust, trusting of. And I just didn't see it that that was Ricard, even though they worked so well together. I just felt like in the end, it was safer to go with me. So last week, there was a pretty big blind side with JD. Um, do, what do you remember from the day of that vote? Did it always feel like JD was going to get the boot or did you, were you, was there, did it seem like the sentiment changed during the day? Well, I always felt like it was JD that was going to get the vote um, because, you know, he he was kind of sloppy, you know, like he came in. What you guys didn't see was that when he came in with his uh, uh, extra vote, like just literally hanging out of his, his underwear, I was there too. I saw that as well. So I knew he had an advantage. And it was Shan who actually told me, okay, the advantage is an extra vote. So see, Shan was like feeding me all this information. That's why another thing was that I thought she really trusted me, you know? So I, at that day when it was, you, you know, down to me or JD, I wanted to hint to see if JD would use his extra vote with me, even though he said he came up to me with his plan to get Ricard out. And I, for some weird reason, decided, no, I want to play with Ricard, which, you know, that was not true. So I said to him, like, hey, I know you have an extra vote but I'm assuming you want to take that to the merge. Like, I'm like hinting, oh, you know, what about, you know? So he never offered it as like, oh yeah, well, we should do this and get, you know, work hard out. If he would have, I would have totally jumped on and been aborted <laughs> with that. Of course I would. Um, then when Shan actually told me, hey, Jeannie, I'm going to try to get his extra vote. And this was before I knew he even gave up his extra vote the first time with, with Brad's blind side. I was like, there's no way. Why would he give you the vote? No freaking way. And I went to go like take a shit in the ocean. 10 minutes later, I came back and she's like, I got the extra vote. And I was like, okay, well, well, there's only one choice for me now. Because I actually thought about using that information to tell JD to say, hey, Chan's going to get your extra vote. You got to trust me on this. And when she does, keep it and we'll do something with it, right? But literally in 10 minutes, she got that. And there was, there was no, he, he had no use for me anymore after that. Okay. Uh, we do a word association here to get to know your tribe mates a little bit better. I'll say someone's name, give me the first word, a couple words that pops into your head. Uh, let's start off with uh, JD. Delusional? <laughs> so bad saying it, but yeah, man, like things didn't happen that he said happened and <laughs> all right. There are no wrong answers here, Jeannie. Uh, yeah. Let's try uh, Sarah. Sarah, oh, uh, robbed. I never wanted her to go the first time. Okay, well, let's try Shan. Oh, wow. Uh, masterful. Okay, uh, Ricard. Strategic. All right, and uh, we'll finish off with uh, your buddy, Brad. Oh, Brad is just... There's not one word I could say. There's many words. He's like safe. I felt very, very safe with him. He was the only person I felt 100% safe with. Man, I loved Brad. You couldn't have done something to get that guy to pump the brakes a little bit and well, 
the thing is, I did not know that he showed Shan every single thing he had, you know, like uh, I did not see, I didn't know that he had that still vote at the moment at, at that time. I didn't know that he went on or he had this chance to go on a trek. Mm -hmm. So, you know, because Shan knew about it and she, you know, when I was blowing up at them, being mad at them, she said, she told me about the nighttime trek she, he had to get the extra vote. Now I saw the, or I saw the steal a vote, but I didn't know how he got it. So that was when I was like, okay, I need to calm down. I need to start getting, working my way back into the graces of these people because, you know, I'm going to be the next voted out if I stay mad. So that, that kind of shook me awake was when Shan told me that. Did Shan's was, name even ever come up or like, or is it just always she was kind of running the show? No, that's the crazy thing. Like nobody said her name at all. The only time somebody said her name was uh, when it was me, Shan and Ricard. And Ricard came to me and said, hey, let's try to go to Shan. But of course he was, he was hosing me the whole time. He was out I of didn't options. didn't believe him either. Yeah, exactly. I didn't believe him. And for me, it was never going to be, I was never going to write Shan's name down. So, you know, what was your takeaway from, from this big adventure, uh, 10 days, 11 days out uh, in the middle of, of nowhere, Fiji, uh, you know, being lied to by complete strangers that you've grown to love? Exactly. Well, we'll see. That's the thing, right? I, I don't want to hold any grudges for people because the game is a game, right? Everybody goes in. You can, there can only be one winner. Of course, you're going to have to do shady things, right? Um, so I don't want to hold people like hold grudges against that with people. Um, and also I, I wanted to enjoy the moments that I know would probably never happen again. Like Fiji on a deserted island. It's, it's ruined beaches for me forever. I'm never going to get to a beach and be like, oh yeah, this, this, is, this is on par with Fiji. No way. Like, like why even bother going to any beach ever again? Ugh, um, Jeannie's always talking about Fiji. You can't even take her anywhere anymore. I know, anymore. right? Right? And uh, just the moments that I enjoyed, like the little, th every day I, I, I took it upon myself to be like, breathe it in, you're miserable and everything. And it's, it's hard, it's uncomfortable, but look at this, look at what's happening. Like swimming, like I caught fish. I was like Ozzy of our camp, you know, like <laughs> me Ozzy, you know? And it was just things I've accomplished that I never thought I would even be able to do, like. Cat, provide, catch fish, use a Hawaiian sling properly. And, uh, you know, and, and I, but the only regret I have is that at the very end, I did play with fear because that beware advantage, I should have just taken it, but I was so afraid to lose my vote at that po point. And I really truly felt that Lulu was not going to find it. Why? They can't even lose a game on purpose. You know, they can't even lose. <laughs> they, they were so stacked. They were like, you know, such giants. Yeah. So I just didn't think anybody would have to look for an idol there. Yeah, well, Jeannie, that's our time. I want to thank you so much. And uh, when you get a chance, please uh, give my love to Lindsay. Uh, I will. And have a fantastic day. Well, you do day. too. Give my love I to will. Lindsay as well. All I right. will. We have excellent taste in Lindsay's. I right.